When your PC dies is not the time to go, gosh, I really could use a Windows 10 recovery drive. You should have that ready beforehand and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Go into the search bar in Windows and type create a recovery drive. Creating recovery drive delves into your deepest Windows file, so you're gonna be asked for your admin password. So here we are at the main recovery drive utility screen, and I wanna call your attention here to this little checkbox at the bottom where it says backup system files to the recovery drive. So this is what's going on. There's a basic recovery drive you can make that will just boot your system if it's dead. But in some cases, Windows may be screwed up too, and you're going to want extra files to reinstall Windows. By keeping this box checked, it will save enough files from your drive to help with that Windows reinstallation. So this is a good idea for most people, and I definitely want to do this. So I'm going to click Next. And now what's happening is that the utility is going to analyze your system and figure out how much space you need on that key drive to save the basic boot drive plus the Windows recovery files. So here the recovery drive utilities finish analyzing my system and I'm expecting it's going to tell me I need a three to four gigabyte USB drive because that's what Microsoft says we should normally expect for a typical drive. But I'm looking at this screen and it says I need a 16 gigabyte USB drive to finish my process. I don't have a lot of 16 gigabyte USB drives hanging around, so luckily I dug through and I have one. One that I have to sacrifice to this mission. So I'm gonna do it. Bye bye little drive. So the utility is going to confirm one more time that you know that this recovery drive process is going to obliterate everything on the drive that you're putting in. So I'm clicking next and it's reminding you again, do you know we're gonna obliterate everything? Yes, I know, I got it. And now it's going to begin creating the recovery drive. And this process could take 15 minutes, 20 minutes, a half hour. It just really depends on how much data it has to take from your system. So now my recovery drive is ready, and you should take out this drive and put it somewhere safe because you never know when you're going to need to rescue your PC, and you can make a new one at any time. If you have other questions about Windows 10, just email us at answers at pcworld.com. <laughs>